Karen, former President Trump's campaign just out with a statement calling the January 6th House Committee a kangaroo court. Before recommending federal criminal charges against Trump and others, the committee played a video featuring gallows on Capitol Hill that day and a noose that became iconic as crowds yelled, hang Mike Pence, then the vice president. Every president in our history has defended this orderly transfer of authority, except one. January 6, 2021 was the first time one American president refused his constitutional duty to transfer power peacefully to the next. The Capitol attack and violent clashes with law enforcement January 6, 2021 were caused by then-President Trump, according to the House Committee, that spent 18 months investigating and included interviews with 1,200 witnesses. This 154-page report unveiled during today's final committee hearing asked that four criminal charges be brought by the Justice Department against Donald Trump and top White House advisors. Obstruction, conspiracy to defraud the U.S., conspiracy to make a false statement, and inciting an insurrection. It's of the utmost importance that our Department of Justice operates as a fair and neutral body that enforces our federal laws without fear or without favor. It is this critical function that President Trump sought to corrupt, as he sought to use the Department of Justice to investigate and prosecute purported election fraud and to help him convince the public that the election was stolen. Does this carry any weight whatsoever in the eyes of the Department of Justice? Uh, it carries a little weight. It gives a little cover, certainly, in a politically sensitive issue that here is a recommendation from another branch of government to pursue criminal charges. But ultimately, it doesn't go very far. There are a lot of hurdles the department's going to have to clear before they decide they want to bring these charges. I would say likely that we will see some charges brought against some people. But as always, the question uh, of the day is, will that include the president? A few minutes ago, in a response to the possibility of criminal charges, President Trump claiming on his social media page that he pushed for 20,000 troops on January 6th. That statement has repeatedly been shown as false with no evidence Mr. Trump issued a National Guard deployment order before or during the rioting or that anyone stood in the way of such an order had it been issued. Karen? Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.